some of the questions. So this week, the Vacation Bible School uh, was titled, did anyone read it in the bulletin? Simon Says. Simon Says. And, and, you know, a lot of fun. Every morning the children wanted to play Simon Says. And I realized what a bad announcer Simon Says. I just want to keep saying Simon Says this, Simon Says that, because I'm actually getting my kids to do what, do what I tell them. So I tried that all the rest of the week, and it didn't work, though. It only works beginning of vacation Bible school when I'm trying to get them to touch their toes or their nose or their ears or whatever. But Simon Says is a whole lot more than a kid's game when it comes to the Bible. Who is Simon? One of the disciples, one of the first disciples, the second disciple. Andrew was first, and then he went and got his brother Simon and said, Hey, Simon, look who I found. I found the Messiah. And the first thing that Simon says is what? Yes. First thing he says is, yes. Jesus says, Come and follow me. And by his actions, he didn't even say the words. He got up out of the boat and he followed Jesus from that day. Simon says a lot of things. He's the most vocal of all the disciples, at least recorded in the Bible. So what are some other things that Simon says? Any other thoughts of what Simon says, Mary? And now you can help them. She's been fighting her tongue here. I never knew him. He denies Jesus. That was going to be the Thursday lesson. We didn't get, get to that one. And Friday is, I, yes, Lord, I love you. That's the Friday lesson. But the, the Tuesday lesson was Simon preaches. And in the book of, beginning of the book of Acts, Simon, in his preaching, draws thousands. I bet you wish you had Simon for a minister. On the day of Pentecost, he speaks, and thousands come to the Lord. And not long after, he speaks to another multitude, and thousands more come and follow the Lord. And Simon speaks another time. And we have two books in the Bible that are titled the books of, the books of Simon, Peter, First and Second Peter. And I just, we discussed with the children some, some of the things that are in those books. But then we had to figure out, now, wait a second, we're talking about what Simon says. Why are we talking about Peter? Where did this name Peter come from? Do you remember the story of how Simon, what Simon said to get the name Peter? When Jesus asked his disciples, who does the world say that I am? They all gave different answers. But when then Jesus turned to his disciples and said, but who do you say that I am? What did, Peter, what did Simon say? Simon said, you are the, the Christ. And some translations say, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Jesus said, with that, your name is Rock. Your name is Petros, Peter, Cephas. We, we, did, we talked about what it means to be a rock for Jesus. And that it's not just supposed to be Peter, but all of us who say, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. We had a great week about it. And we talked about, among other things, one of the commandments of Jesus. And so that's what we're going we're gonna to share with you is the song, This Is My Commandment. So if you know this song, I invite you to, to sing it along. If you know the actions, even better. So this is, this is my commandment. So 